In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Tadesk. You can use this app to remotely control your PC or your Mac. You don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi network to use Tadesk. You can be anywhere, maybe your computer is at home and you are at work or school and still be able to access your computer from there. All right, so to begin, install the app from the Play Store or the App Store if you're using an iPhone. Maybe I'll make an iPhone specific video if you guys want. So after you install the app, open it and tap on this button so that you can connect your Google account to it. So select the Google account you want to use and after you're done with that, just keep the phone aside so that we can move to the PC. So on your PC, go to this website or just Google Stardesk and choose the first result. It should take you to the same website. Next, choose your operating system. I use Windows, so I'll click the Windows icon and it will automatically get downloaded to my PC. Next, head to your downloads folder and double click the setup file to start the installation process. All you need to do from here is just keep clicking next until it is done installing. After it is done, you'll see the option to log in using your Google account. Click it and wait for a few seconds for your browser to open. Then choose the Google account you want to use. Here's something you need to understand. If you want to easily use the Stardesk app, I would recommend you use the same Google account you used on your phone and on your PC. This will also give you more features while using the app. But if you'll be using different Google accounts, then the process is a bit different and I'll be showing you how that one works later on in this video. So after choosing the Google account, click continue and if everything works out, you should see a new window with two devices listed. You are seeing two devices because both of them have Stardesk installed and both of them are using the same Google account. So on your phone, you should see your PC. So tap it and tap connect desktop. You can skip the tutorial by tapping the button at the bottom three times. After that, you should be able to control your PC using your phone. By default, while using your phone to control your PC, anything you tap on your phone is clicked. Personally, I don't like that method, but I'm glad there's an alternative. So here's how you activate it. So tap panel in the top right corner, tap mouse, and if you want, you can disable show mouse buttons. Then tap panel again to close the menu. Now you can move your mouse and double tap anywhere on your screen to open files or folders. To enter text, like in a browser, for example, tap the address bar and then tap the keyboard button and enter your text, then tap enter. By now you already know that you can control the cursor by swiping. But if you wanted to drag something, here's how to do it. So just tap and hold what you want to drag. For example, the scroll bar on a browser, then all you need to do is swipe. You can swipe up or down to go up and down. <laughs> but if you just want to scroll, you can use two fingers. You can just swipe using two fingers and you'll be able to scroll. And that's how you basically use the Stardesk app. Now, if you're connected to two different Google accounts, let's say you're trying to help a friend fix their PC from your home, their own PC will have their own Google account and yours will have your own Google account. So the steps are a bit different as I mentioned earlier. So here's how you do it. So on the PC, click on remote assistance, then just click the buttons that show up to skip the tutorial. Next, click allow remote assistance. You should see two codes. The first code is the ID. The second code is like the password. This one changes after you're done with a remote connection. And these are the codes you're going to enter on the phone. So on the phone, tap remote assistance and enter the ID and password you got from the PC. After entering them, tap start and you'll be able to control the PC from the phone. And after you're done, you can disconnect. You will notice that a new password will be generated on the PC for the next time you want to use this method. So that's basically how you use Tadesk. There's a lot of features the app offers, but I can't get into them in this video. But if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. But with that said, thank you for watching. Ask me any questions you have. Subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.